Hey everybody! Well, today we're going to take a look at one of these Disneyland slash Disney World Galaxy's Edge Legacy Lightsabers. So you can get these, I think you can only get them at the Disney Parks at uh, Disney World and Disneyland. Uh, I actually have seen them available on Walmart, but I think they're a lot more there. I think they go for $220. I think these things sell now for $140, I think is what these are up to. But uh, I've been wanting one of these for a while. I really wanted to see what it what it looks like and how it is uh, compared to like the Force Effects lightsabers, which I thought were done really well. And I actually have a production-made lightsaber from 1977, uh, A New Hope, and we can use that as a reference to see how accurate these are. So that should be interesting. So um, these cases are absolutely fantastic that these come in, and I think they look good. I love the detailing on it but they are begging to have some weathering done on it. So I'm gonna do a separate video showing uh, how I paint this and weather it. I wanna make it look all dirty and scraped up. So that'll be fun. This is the button here. Now I'm not gonna do a review of this because there's a ton of reviews of, of these things on uh, YouTube right now, but they are stunning and beautiful. I mean, look at that thing. That is a gorgeous, beautiful, lightsaber. I absolutely love it. So this is the Anakin Luke Ray version. Uh, there's all kinds of controversy about that. We'll just call it the Skywalker uh, lightsaber. It, to me this has always been Luke's lightsaber because I'm old enough to remember the original movie in 1977 and um, that was when I first saw it and Luke was the first one I saw. It was not till later they came up with all these other stories. But uh, anyway it's got this padded um, kind of inside here that's like a little cloth. This is actually plastic under here, like vacuform plastic, and then underneath is some uh, some foam. But here I can take this out and it's actually quite heavy. I'm actually surprised at how heavy this is. I mean it is, this actually looks really good. I was impressed at how nice it is. It's got the, the lens right here. It's got the little plug-ins. So this of course was based on the Graflex flash attachment from the 1930s I believe. And it's just funny how uh, so many of these are replicated now. This part's a little bit wide right here. And these don't go as deep, but that's because they had to accommodate for the blade. Now, I did buy a blade for this because they will not turn on without a blade. So, um, here's the... Uh... Now, this one's based on um, Empire Strikes Back and later, because that's when the notches started showing up. And the uh, little circuit card, because on the original, there was a bubble strip on here from A New Hope. It does not have the Graphex, Graflex logo on here because uh, that's a copyright and they can't reproduce that. And it does have the nice D-ring on the bottom. And it has really good sound effects and uh, good lighting too. But I'm going to do a comparison between this one and the Force Effects one. And then I'll also show you the production made one. And then here's the, uh, I actually have the blade for this as well. So, alright, let's go ahead and put them all side by side and we'll take a look at what the differences are. Okay, so I have some pretty limited space here when it comes to my studio, but uh, we're going to try to make this work. So, uh, this is the Force Effects lightsaber that came out quite a few years ago, and um, it's actually very nice quality. I don't know if these things are still available. I, I haven't seen them in stores forever. They went for about $100 back in the day, and I think, I think now they're going for big bucks, so I, I'm assuming they're not being made anymore. I can't remember who made these. Was it Hasbro? Um, maybe you guys can comment in the comments because I, I don't remember. And then this is the uh, the Galaxy's Edge Legacy lightsaber. Now uh, looking at these, now I'm not sure, you know, I'm not an expert on these props, so I don't know exactly, you know, what air is what and all the little details, but this one does have a copper edge on the lens. And the lens looks a little foggy, while the uh, Legacy one has the knurled edge there and it's got a clearer looking lens as well. Um, both of these have the plugs right here that don't go very deep and that's because it has to have room for the blades. Um, the blade on the uh, Force Effects one here is permanent. You cannot take it out but on the Legacy one you can take that out and it's pretty easy to put in and take out so that's kind of nice. It makes a cool little noise when you put in there so you know. Uh, the rubber grips feel about the same, I'm thinking this is the Force Effects one, this one here. This one feels a little bit better, but it might be because it's newer. I've had this one for quite a while. So, I mean, they look pretty much the same. Um, the uh, little card here is virtually the same on both. That one has more of a greenish tint to it than that one. 
But yeah, I mean, they look they look almost exactly the same. Okay, let's see what they are in difference for the electronics. Okay, so hopefully my camera doesn't have a hard time focusing because I'm only using room lights here for this uh, to show the lights off on these. So the switches to turn them on are both uh, the same, the little in, uh, circuit card here. Now, uh, I think in the movie the button was supposed to be the activation, but neither of the buttons actually work on this. They're strictly for looks. So this is the force effects one, and when we turn it on, now it has pretty good sound effects. It's got the good humming, and you can see how long the blade is here. It's pretty long, and then it's very sensitive to um, moving around like this. And then you can clash it, and see if I can get the sound effects. So yeah, I mean it's it's very sensitive when it comes to the movement. Okay, <laughs> and then this is the legacy one. Now I gotta say the one disappointment with the legacy one, and I'm kind of surprised by this, it's not as sensitive as this. Um, you move it around and it doesn't have the sensitivity that this one does. So here, let me turn this one on. Now I do like the humming sound. It's much better on this one. It's got a deeper, more menacing sound, which I like, but now it's, it's got a little bit different sounds when you move it as well. But it's not as sensitive unless I kind of jerk it around like this. And see, it's not as sensitive. And then also the, um, the clashing is a little harder to activate. It's actually better if you just shake it. Now see how it's got the flash? Look at the blade. Now that I like. It's got kind of a yellow-orange uh, flashing in it. Now you can kind of see the bulbs in there, or I should say the LEDs. You don't see that in person. On camera it's showing up, but in person it is a nice, regular, uh, smooth-looking blue glow. And that goes the same for the this one as well. It's just showing up on camera. but. And that one's got a, a different sound effects as well. I like that one because it almost echoes. And I think this might have two different sound effects for activating. Let me see. And then deactivating, maybe? Hmm. Oh, yeah, I'm not really sure. But, uh... Yeah, so they're both excellent. I, I would say, you know, I mean, they're a very close tie when it comes to how good these are. I, I definitely think the Force FX one has uh, a much more sensitive, you know, mo to movement. I mean, you can move this thing around and it makes, you know, the little, you know, wall noise kind of things that it does uh, much better than this one does. Um, and I'm kind of surprised. Like I said, this is the newer version and you'd think they would have made that a little more sensitive. All right, well, uh, let me get the production made one and we can kind of see the differences between all of them. All right, so looking at all three of these, now this is the Force Effects one, this is the Disney uh, Legacy lightsaber, and this is the actual production made one. So uh, I made a video about this one in case you're curious. I talk about how I got it, how I acquired it, um, the history of it. And this is an actual production made uh, lightsaber from A New Hope that I've had since the movie was in theaters. I used to take this to the theaters with me when A New Hope was still playing in there. So um, the only thing I did unfortunately change is the grips because the original foam ones deteriorated over time. And then uh, the bubble strip is not original because the original piece that was in there just wasn't ir original. But uh, yeah, this is an actual Graflex, as you can see here, flash attachment, so it's an antique. And you can see the, the writing down here. So, um, and I'm pretty sure, well, I'm not 100% sure, but I kind of have a feeling that this one was a stunt one because they never put the uh, the D-ring on the bottom. So that's my guess, or maybe they just didn't finish it. So anyway, um, looking at these, you can see the dimensions are, are pretty spot on. Um, you know, back in the day, trying to get a replica lightsaber was really difficult. And then once people found out that they were made of these uh, antique flash attachments, people were either going to camera shows 
and buying those or they, or they were uh, trying to fashion them themselves uh, by machining them out of metal. But I think that both uh, uh, Force Effects or Hasbro, whoever made this one, and Disney has really got uh, you know the dimensions pretty darn close. Uh, this one, of course, being made for A New Hope doesn't have the notch in the handle. And uh, but uh, yeah, I mean they look really good. Uh, there's just subtle things that aren't the same, like the uh, the little um, plugs right here aren't as deep as these. But that's because the blade has to go in there. Um, the button on this one actually does push. And these ones don't. There's just strictly for looks. Uh, let's see, what else? There's a switch right here. This was actually a switch, and I don't know what, what the purpose was. You can see it moves up and down like that. And uh, it's, you know, like it's a piece of photography equipment, so I have no idea. But uh, the ones on here are strictly for looks as well, wherever those are. It's on that side. So, yeah, they don't move or anything. And it looks like they actually got... Uh, the uh, the length well this the length of this one doesn't look quite right doesn't have quite the right shape either but that one looks pretty close to what the original had so yeah it's pretty pretty interesting but yeah so um I don't know as far as you know which one to get well I don't even know if these are still available like I said maybe you guys can comment in the comment section if they're still for sale somewhere I I haven't seen them in years I also have the Anakin one. But I ended up putting it back in the box because there was something weird going on with the, the grips. And I guess other people have had problems with it too where the rubber was starting to deteriorate and it became really sticky. And I have another Anakin one that I never even took out of the box. It's still brand new in the box. So uh, I don't know how the handles are doing on that one. But uh, anyway, these Legacy ones are pretty nice. And I think they go for about $140 now at the parks. Uh, so if you want to get one, you can. And I think they uh, you can also make your own lightsaber, although I'm not really fond of the way those ones look. I'm more, you know, true to the ones that you see in the movies. So, <laughs> But um, anyway, yeah, they're pretty cool. And uh, this one I think is a little bit better, the Force FX one, as far as like the sensor that, you know, generates the sound for the movement. I'm kind of, you know, surprised that this one doesn't do that better. But as for the lighting of it and the, 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 the effects, um, they're, they're both excellent. I think this one's a little bit better. And I love the case that this one comes in. And like I said, I'll do a video showing how I weather that up. All right, well, that's it for this video. I hope you found it at least somewhat informative. And uh, anyway, thank you so much for watching. Please give the video a like and uh, subscribe too if you'd like. I'd really appreciate that. So I'll see you on the next video. Thank you so much for watching and have a good one.